looking to get on and make a big impact later in the game. James Johnson, when he does come on, just when the Italians think that run row is going to get a bit lighter, all 140 kilograms of him will come on to lean and make a nuisance of himself against the strong scrummaging of the Italian team. So the Samoans with the Sivatao. So the challenge laid down to the Italians. Kasha Giovanni will have been very used to that in terms of facing various uh, teams in World Cups, etc. There he is, Martin, Martin Costa Giovanni. Didn't start last week, which I thought was yeah, quite interesting, was. quite possibly just a little bit of a, a rest after his long season of the Leicester Tigers. But he's out there in the starting lineup today. Okay. And he just enhances that. Yeah. And the best away is terrific. That's absolutely perfect by Tualafo. Foot, play on foot. General well, has been grabbed on the ground there by Bartolome. He's done a good job defensively for Italy. Gori with the boot away, extending to Ilangi. Now what will happen? Here we go for the big bang. Boom! Italians did well to stand up to it. PC can get it away. No, he can't. He's brought a beautiful break. Wonderful good running by Leoa. He ran off the ball brilliantly. William. The captain will score for Samoa. Well, it's just brilliant, isn't it? Ball in hand, Samoa. Explosive. It's Paul Williams who's rounded it off and gone in under the poles. And one of the Samoans is down as well. But look at this for a great step. Right up through the middle. No one ready to uh, offload to first time round. This time there was. It was the steaming wing at uh, uh, coming on the outside. The little show from Williams. But Samoa, ball in hand with a little bit of space. Just plain and simple. Dangerous. Started at the back. The kick over to Turi Lange's side. He didn't have too much to do. Carried it up. But that was the start of the attack play. The start was to Turi Lange. The finish. Sua. PC. The loose forwards getting involved. Now a chance for PC just to dab it through for Lewa to chase. It's all on the bounce and Lewa has done the job. Brilliant following that. He ran beautifully off the ball for Williams' try. And his coach is delighted with the start to the second half. Well, they'll be ecstatic. It was a really good build-up. They got the ball quite cheaply. Quickly with a clearance from the kickoff. Not a long clearance. Samoa from there were patient in the attack. I thought maybe the ball before this could have gone. In fact, that ball there could well have gone wide. There were numbers. The Italian defense restructured. They were up quickly. It left space in at the back there. And Leiu had just had the gas to get in front of his opposite number. Coming across from the other side was Yanone. He could do nothing about it. Snatching the ball. The kick, well, we saw one or two of those in the first half. This time, weighted perfectly. The chase, perfect. And the result, equally good. Got two tries in Super Rugby this year. The Hibernado. What a ball, bad ball on the inside. But again, that ball is going loose and PC. Able to sum it up and all very nearly got away. But he goes, does now. This is going to be a sprint, a sprint away. Alex Liotta, Johnny Liotta. So tries to go to the centers and to lay over the wing. Yeah. 
Italy again, responsible for their own demise. Loose pass, going to ground, quickly gathered by Samoa. And look at this, a little snip, realising a one-on-one -on -one with a big fella. Castro Giovanni made the tackle, and then some slick handling. And as soon as the ball got in the hands of Johnny Liotta, the foot race was only ever going to be won by him. With the ball, under the poles it goes. And, well, that is surely 25 points to three, and... None of the ball, the Italian winger. Sua just uh, lost concentration for a moment there, was talking to the referee and forgetting about the ball. Good counter right there by Ventiti, the right winger of the Ajiri. Oh, this is good ball. Now the run away by Trivulanus. And the ball back away. He could deserve a try, but Parise because it comes back and it's a beautiful inside pass here for three to us. Craig Jubert is going to have a little look upstairs. I think to just check whether they got rid of the ball in time, whether he wasn't in touch when he made the pass. The pass was absolutely brilliant. Almost a basketball type pop, pop up for the alley hoop. And uh, hung in the air for an eternity on, onto that pace camp to Ifua. And he's probably rounded off his brilliant afternoon with a score in the corner. But the timing of the pass from Ove, we just said he's a contender for man of the match. And look at this. Good tackle from Paris here, trying desperately to get him into touch. Is that foot on the line? It's in play. Is it on the line? It's in at the moment. Oh, he's going to be in touch. Well, great bit of work there done by Skipper Parise. Yeah, fine, do it, do it, do it. That's and fine. yeah, I think you had your first work for Kerry could see her. And got to the next point. Oh, on the ground. The ground. First watch, you better watch his right leg, right foot, and ball in hand. So is that foot touching the ground or is it in the air? I think it's in the air still. The left foot's in the air. It's scraping a bit of chalk he's by the look of it. He's still touching it. still touching it. Yeah, I think he's uh, touching the line. He's I think that stud is just nicking the Pretty line that he tries to walk If you have no foot in touch, therefore you may well to try it. So you're oh, saying I can have foot in touch. That's so correct. Yeah, could see it quickly with his decision and try <laughs> number four, which brings a bonus point to Samo Tolu again. Very experienced. A new fave. A little dark by the little fella. It might be short, but it, he, he will have big legs. Paul Williams. Stopped by Rizzo. Palu Williams. In fact, James Johnson had the ball there. Oh, that's a lovely little step from Manufa. And got it away now. Terrific dart. And the two new guys have combined to bring off a super try. Paulu gets the touchdown. Try number five. The coaching staff not looking as happy as they could be, but they should be. This is an absolute demolition of the Italian side by the team that are commonly known as Manu Samo, affectionately known as Manu Samo. And that little man there, Manufa, he's come on, he's Sorry, controlled the game. His stepping and ability to break the line and show some absolute magic has been inspirational. And this time round he's offloaded to Vaula, who's got it down next to the pole. Try number five for Samoa, thoroughly deserved. And it really has become a rout of the men from Italy. Samo and Captain Paul, fantastic bonus point win. And I know you had a special reason to play for one of your management team today. Well, two actually. Uh, we... Sami Liotta, our manager, has been in hospital. He's having his own troubles, and we wish him well. Also, our uh, analyst, Junior Narayan, managed to lose his father this week, so uh, we, we had plenty to play for. Your coach said before the game, you always like to use the first 10, 15 minutes to let the opposition know you mean business in the tackle. No different today. Well, to Italy's credit, we certainly struggled to get into that game. They came out firing. I'm not so sure we were getting our physical hits in. We were chasing them around, but... Uh, I'm happy that we, we hung in there and ran away with it that second half. On a personal level, some uh, un unexpected goal-kicking duties today? Yeah, I, I keep it in the repertoire when, I, when I'm needed. <laughs> and uh, looking forward to next week, you've obviously guaranteed yourselves one of the top two spots on the log. You're hoping for a game against South Africa, I'm sure. It'll be a great occasion and a, a great challenge for us, and we'll look forward to that.
where the areas that you looked on in the past week, Paul, uh, after your win against Scotland to just build the momentum? Just getting better reads on, on when to contest rucks and, and when to, to fan out. That, that's probably one of our, our bigger work-ons. And today, again, we got a few ruck penalties, so we'll have a look at that again. And when the game gets loose, some are really dangerous. Yeah, that's right. Uh, big ball carriers and something we enjoy. Thanks, Paul. We'll see you at Loftus. If you don't mind, just a quick uh, whafatai tele, more low support, ma alofa to our supporters. Whafatai tele, Government of Samoa and Digicel. Thank you. Thanks very much, Paul Williams. We have a Castle Lager man of the match, the Samoan hooker, Wayne Ole Ave. Wayne, fantastic performance today, and uh, just capping your own personal performance with that run up the left hand touchline and the inside pass for the try. Oh, I think it was just pure luck there. Uh, just flirting with the line there, but we're just lucky enough to get a good ball away to Tussi and the team. So nothing would happen about the team's pick and go support and what we've been training on. So pretty much comes down to teamwork and our brothers. So that's where it falls down on. The Samoans renowned not only for their big tackling, but their strong running amongst the backs, but a, a good performance from the whole pack of forwards today as well. Uh, yeah, well, we spoke about it all week and last week, and that's where our platform lies down. It's um, a whole eight, not just our eight. It uh, works from our bench to our DD, so it's a team effort, and that's how we want to play rugby, and that's how we want to be renowned in the world. So. Just a, a, a last word on having been in Nelspreit and being part of the first ever test match at the stadium. Oh, I love it. The crowd's fantastic. Uh, the pitch is fast, and um, yeah. Oh, just a quick shout out to um, our, uh, our, what's our video analyst, Junior Narayan's family back in Samoa. Um, our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family, and um, God bless and thank you. Wayne Ole Ave, you are our Castle Lager Man of the Match. Uh, Errol Madlala with uh, your medallion as our Man of the Match. Thank you.